were there moments where, I mean, song choice wise on your, on the album or on the previous BDF albums, how did that work? Did, did you choose the songs? Did you work together with people choosing songs? Or? Uh, it, it was a mixture of things. The, the, the original artistic conceit of the album is doing dark electronic versions of previously happy pop songs. In fact, Glenn said to me from Hamilton Team, he said, oh, you should call it Previously Happy Pop Song. It's quite a good title, actually. It is. P-H-P-S. <laughs> and And uh, anyway, so I put a, a sh the, the song that inspired the idea was a song called The Night by Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. I don't know if anybody knows that song. It's a kind of northern soul classic. And it's a really dark lyric. I mean, it, it's almost like a stalker song. But the, the backing track is like... It's like really jolly. <laughs> and, uh, and and but he's singing, beware of the promise over the top, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm going, oh God, if we took the backing track off and put something more like, you know, Inception on in the background, it would make it really menacing this song. And I became fascinated with this idea, and that's so that's so I drew up a, a, a kind of long list of songs that I thought we could do that with, and then I gave that that list to the artists, and some of them picked their own songs. And um, the, the rest is history. I haven't sung for how many years? I don't know. Many, many years, anyway. Really? And I hadn't actually heard myself in a studio for yonks, and I had no idea what would come out. So Martin brought you back? Yeah. That's he awesome. Was, Ma Martin, That's really Ma lovely. Martin was before the Smiths. Yeah, that's true. He was before the yeah. Smiths. And so I suddenly found I had this great voice that I could play with. And um, I didn't know that so you to be yeah, honest. I, know. I was so I was so touched that you you'd oh, asked me. And um, and it was one of the most enjoyable experiences of my life actually. No, did you know about BEF before? Or the albums before? Were you no. aware of it? No, too no, young, I didn't, too young. no, I didn't know. I heard um um I heard that Tina Turner was part of it, and I was like, oh, yeah. And I just started looking through, and actually I actually didn't realise that you were... This is the point where I have to go, Dan, Martin, Martin Ware, who's that? He's like, what, well, you don't know who Martin Ware is, man? What are you saying you don't know? And I'm like, oh, I just totally know who that is. And then I just started going through and made all these amazing connections, and I just thought, wow, this is a person with an amazing, diverse body of work, and that attracts me because... Um, I, I take musical inspiration from so many places, so I just I knew it would be it would be an adventure. Oh, thank you.